So people have made games to promote empathy for people on the autism spectrum, but nobody has made something quite like this. Uh, an allegory featuring forest animals mapping back to various characteristics associated with autism. Nobody's tried that before. We know that we learn best when we're directly involved in our learning. And with PRISM, all the players have an opportunity to be directly involved in that experience. It's an ideal way for teachers then to spark conversations. What did you notice when you played the game? And how did that character cope with those challenges? And now they can connect it to real life experiences and allow folks to recognize that their classmates, their neighbors, their family members who have autism may have similar experiences. Every animal encounter in the game maps back to a specific communication issue that children might face when talking to one another. And we were particularly helped in this by our subject matter expert who gave us insight into what commonly happens and what issues children commonly face um, when talking to their peers with autism. Using an allegorical approach was particularly challenging because dealing with kids that are 9 and 10 years of age, they're not really going to grasp um, a very complex allegory. So we were advised to pair this with a discussion that the teacher leads the, the kids to after the game. Developing an open world 3D game on the web browser is an easy task. Chromebook is not very strong in terms of its processing power, and web browser then supports some advanced functions. So we took several approaches to achieve our goal. Like first, we chose to use low-poly 3D models, and also we tried as many ways as possible to optimize our code. Upon request, we also ported our game from Chromebook to iPad, so we can reach a broader audience. Working on this project is a wonderful experience. We want to create an immersive environment to let the children explore the world. We try to create a forest and diverse animals and also add on animations to let the story look more fascinating. The music for this game is really relaxing. We want our players to enjoy their time in this environment and explore as much as they want. And also, for backend, we have Google Analytics. So for now, we can see four people are playing the game right now, and we can track these events and let the teacher guide discussions afterwards. We're striving to educate everyone about not only autism awareness, but about the unique differences that we all have. So after we um, piloted the game with just my fourth graders, we were able to have good conversations about what um, everybody has different about each other, that we have to be accepting of everything. And what's different for you, it might be different for me, and we all have differences. So it was really exceptionally useful to help our students to see the differences in everybody. You no, know, my hope is that all teachers will have the opportunity to make this available to their elementary students, if possible. With the incidence of autism higher than ever before, we will have students in our classroom, so we'll have classmates with autism, we'll have neighbors, and we'll have family members who have autism. So we do need a tool to allow us to build that empathy and in order for us to have positive social interactions with our peers who have autism. And playing the game is an awesome way to allow that to happen.